PsychYogi.org Gudronson and Bowles, 2002 The Attribution of Blame and Type of Crime Committed Background This is the third study we will be looking at from the Turning to Crime and Cognition section of your Forensic Psychology Unit. It is further categorised into Social Cognition. Social Cognition is the study of how people process information especially its encoding, storage, retrieval and application to social life. There are two background studies for this theory. Rotter, 1975, The Locus of Control. Haider, 1958, Attribution Theory. Locus of Control refers to two different typologies of attributing blame to behaviour. External, this is where you attribute the cause of event to external forces such as bad luck or other people. People who tend to attribute the causes of events to external factors tend to be more depressed than those who have an internal locus of control. Internal. These are people who claim that they are in control of their own lives. These people tend to get more stressed because they've attributed the problems they faced to th themselves. Offenders have a higher likelihood of having an external locus of control. Attribution theory. Attribution theory refers to how people work out the causes of their own and others' behaviours. Attributions can either be situational, for example blaming the traffic for being late, or they can be dispositional, for example blaming being lazy for being late. Aim. To examine the relationship between type of offence and the attributions offenders make about their criminal acts. And secondly, to cross-validate earlier findings of an English sample. Method and Design Self-report using the Johnson & Singh 42 item blame attribution inventory to measure the offender's attribution of blame, which was then compared with the type of crime the criminals committed. Participants 80 criminals, all serving sentences in a North Island prison. The 80 participants were divided into three groups. 20 of the subjects had committed violent offences including murder and grievous bodily harm. They had a mean age of 29. 40 of the subjects had committed sexual offences including paedophiles and those who had committed sexual assault. The mean age for the paedophiles was 41, but 28 for the others. Group 3 had 20 subjects, and they had committed property offences, including theft and burglary. They had a mean age of 29. Results As expected, the criminals who had committed the sexual offences showed the most remorse for their crimes, followed by those who had committed violent offences. Those who committed violent offences had the highest mental element scores on the GBAI, followed by the sex offenders. Mental elements refer to things like blaming mood on behaviour. When compared to the English offenders, the violent Irish prisoners showed lower mental elements and lower guilt. Summary of key findings. Violent offenders had the most mental elements and most external attributions. The sex offenders showed the highest remorse and had the lowest external attributions. Property offenders had the lowest mental elements and the lowest remorse. Conclusions Strong consistency with earlier findings was found, which suggested strong consistency in the way that criminals attribute blame. Johnson and Bowers 2002 Evaluation Remember this is not an exhaustive list. The study is highly replicable. Because it's highly standardised and they've used a um, standard 42 item attribution questionnaire inventory, it's easily replicable for anyone else and it in fact has been repeated. There's high concurrent validity because the results from this study concur with the results of the English study with the English prisoners. One of the problems with the study is that social desirability may have had an effect, especially with the sex offenders, as they are seen as the lowest of the low 
in the prison hierarchy. So they're more likely to show remorse for their crimes because it will be better for them. High construct fidelity is shown due to the agreement with the attribution theory. It's only generalizable to Western prisoners. Prisoners from other areas in the world may not be the same. Although we have seen that there is a similarity between English and Irish prisoners, there was a slight difference in the way that the Irish prisoners felt guilt if they were violent. So they didn't have as much guilt and they didn't have as many mental elements. So it may not be the same for everywhere else in the world. It may be vastly different for criminals in Cuba, for example. There was no control group. This is a problem because as there was no control group, we cannot establish with any degree of certainty if criminals really do have a different way of attributing blame. For, for the results of this study to be useful in a forensic psychology or real life environment, we would need to have a control group. If you've enjoyed this Psych Yogi presentation, why not subscribe to keep up with all the latest videos.